Welcome. This is the energy vibration uh, for the week number 29, and this is for um, the zodiac sign of the Taurus people. Wonderful. Okay. I want to say thank you for being back. Thank you for returning. I want to um, send you a lot of love and light. Um, I want to say to all you Tauruses out there, it's going to be a week um, of breakthroughs. A lot of stuff will be coming out. It's like a week where secrets are coming out and, and, and it's a good time to change your vibration. What I should also say to you, Taurus, is for this week, this week is a week of ju um, judgment. It is also an emotional week. So it's going to be a mixture of uh, higher and lower emotions. That mean it can be good emotions to, to get some information. It can be bad emotions. So it's, it's like... The, you know, the number two energy also for the week is a week of balance. It's a week of balancing off uh, these things, working with partnership, working with, you know, um, choices, you know, with the information that you're going to get, you have to make choices in your life. Okay. As I, if you work with the angel, the angel for this week is Archangel Jeremiel and he says renewal. Okay. So, a lot of new changes are coming in for you, Tauruses, and it is good. And what the universe is also saying to you is that have faith. You are an earth element, um, element, and what happened is that the universe support you. So the universe is saying to you in this week, have faith because we need you um, to receive this information. What I should also remind you, Taurus, is that in this week, on the 19th, Thursday the 19th, if you're trying to manifest anything, um, start writing these things down from Monday, because on Thursday the 19th, there is the full moon, and this full moon is in Capricorn. This full moon is a full moon in Capricorn, which is your sister sign. So use this full moon to manifest things in your life. And this is why um, there's so much. This is just a week where secrets will be coming out and information that you weren't aware of will be coming out, okay? As we look at Monday, Monday, the energy of the chariot comes in. And what is so good for it, for it, for this energy of the chariot, um, this 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 chariot is going to help you to take action. It's going to help you and give you the motivation to go on. It is going to help you to be triumphant with whatsoever situation that you were dealing with and that energy that you were coming out with. So Monday is a wonderful day for you, Taurus. As we look at Tuesday, the energy vibration on um, Tuesday the 19th, Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday the 19th, um, is the strength energy. And again, the full moon is on Tuesday. So again, write your thing from Monday so that Tuesday you can manifest it. On Tuesday the 19th, strength comes up. And whenever strength comes up, you need um, um, compassion for yourself and compassion for the people who you have to deal with after receiving all this information. So you will have the strength, the inner strength to deal with the situation. On Wednesday, the energy vibration of the moon comes out and it's in the middle of the week. This moon is saying to you people and revealing um, your your enemies and lower energies, people who work on a lower base energies and people who are not honest. The moon is bringing them up in the middle of the week because the day before was the full moon and it's like this Capricorn full moon is like bringing out a lot of things and showing you guys a lot of things that you weren't aware of. On Thursday the 21st, you have decided you know, I've seen this all. The magician is here. And the magician is here in this time to say to you, take action. You have the power to take action. So take action and move away out of the situation. You are now aware of what is going on. So take 
power and action and move out of this energy vibration. On Friday, the energy vibration of judgment comes and you will be receiving more information. But at this time, you need to be honest and you need to have faith in the universe because the universe is going to help you no matter what the situation is. The universe is going to help you. It is a time when you're going to um, 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 transfer yourself, transform yourself. And this is if you're having a new business and all of that, it will be a good time for you. Even though your 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 enemies are being revealed to you and, and stuff are coming out that you weren't aware of, it's okay. All right? Just enjoy the energies. On um, Saturday is a wonderful day for you, Tauruses, because the earth energy vibration is here and it's grounding you and helping you and helping you to put an end to the situation whatever was going on and you got the information in the week the universe is here at this time saying put an end to the situation because um, you can enrich yourself from doing that and by moving away out of this situation and, and bringing an end to the situation it's just going to be wonderful it's better to uh, make a decision to do that on Sunday I see you have really make the decision because um, the fool is here and you're walking away you're leaving it you're just saying you know I've had enough I'm leaving this I'm moving away out of this energy vibration so it's wonderful for you Taurus it's just a week where everyone is going to see um, who people are and how they're vibrating around them okay I want to say um, please stay tuned for the general energies of the week and as i move on the number seven energy was really really here people in this week i love the number seven energy it is a yes card and it is a card from victory and success but it's also a card of moving out of of stuff you know the chariot is always you know the chariot is always drawn by two horses some cards you have a black horse but you have a white horse it's the energy vibration what you want to take because it's a, a this is a, a universe of free will so what you want and uh, um, whatever direction you take it's your free will no one <laughs> I mean everyone makes their own um, decision on going in whatever direction it is wonderful because we're going on further and the next card I have is the number 29 and because it's the 29 week and we have the phoenix and there's always a saying the phoenix rise out of the hashes the phoenix is here when the phoenix is here it's like the fire you the fire element you know it's transformation it is also a water week and the fire is here and it says um surrender to changes and when we surrender to changes, as I have said always, if you do not surrender to changes, you have obstacles and blocks in your life all the time. There's always something happening. Some people who vibrate on the 33 energies, the 33 um, life part, you will have that, but it's because you're working other people karma. But for the rest of the people who vibrate, not on a number 33 vibration whenever you have apps obstacles in your way it is because you're not flowing with the flow of life everyone has their own vibration flow and whenever you're not in the flow of life you um, need to surrender and change the part you're on the next card I have here it's from um, the Oracle I love the Oracle it's a number 29 card and it says breathe So most of the time most of us myself do forget to breed and there this is something that I've learned on my um yeah spiritual part or something breed I never used to breed I mean anything happens it's like um 
breed when you breed it's like you pull in an energy and then you come to calm and then you think oh okay yeah well then okay I'll just look at it at a different way always breed people we forget to breed sometimes you know it, it, we're so on the move we're going and we're going and we're going and we stop breeding and when we stop breeding we we becomes very confused and everything it's just like going out of uh, everything is just going out of I know you you don't you know you lose pos um, um, perspective of things in your life and when you start breeding then you think oh okay um, why was I um, being so um, upset because it's gonna be okay All right we're moving on and it's the map love these cards love these cards love these cards the enchanted map and it says come into life wow and I can understand for people who have been going through a rough situation and finally things start moving again in your life because you have find your life part because you have you you have found that energy vibration that is going to bring you out of that situation in your life and this is just so wonderful and I'm so happy for you guys that you're really coming to life and finally you see a light at the end of the tunnel congratulations if you are going in this if you are vibrating in a situation like this there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you will come back to life the last card I have for this reading and I know it was a little bit long but I had two birthday people in the reading and it says the world the number 29 card and I love these energy vibration cards because it has nothing to do with the tarot cards or the rest of the sort of cards or and the oracle cards because they have the number vibration and the 29 number vibration it is the world and this is wonderful because you came to life you're coming out of that situation that relationship whatever the lower energy situation you're coming to life and the world is open for you to do whatever you'd like to do this is beautiful this is wonderful I love the world card because it's like the universe and I mean it has been a time of changes going on for each and every one of us and we end this week with the world and it was a fantastic week we had a lot of sevens we had a lot of twin 20 and it was a good week good energy vibration okay I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back visit our website that's zizuktalk.com and I want to say to you namaste and I'll talk to you next week